Hi everyone, Sandeep from Hashnode here. Today we are releasing Hashnode Headless Mode. Headless Hashnode lets you build your own blog frontend using our powerful GraphQL APIs. We are also releasing a Next.js and Tailwind powered starter kit, which you can readily deploy and customize your blog to your liking. Let me show you a demo of how this works. So we have something called Hashnode's starter kit, which you can fork. So let me fork it and let me choose the org. Let's call this starter kit demo. So get the fork. It's ready. Now we'll go to Vercel. Vercel is the platform that we recommend. Let's create a new project. Let's search for start kit. Okay, it's not there yet. So let's configure it. And we'll select start kit demo. Okay, and it's there, so we'll import it. Okay, so we have this space here, and we'll now configure the root directory. Since this is a monorepo, we need to go to packages, block certificate. We have two themes right now. So we'll go ahead with enterprise for this one. And we'll set the preset as next.js. And we'll set the env bars. So the first one is the GQL endpoint of Hashnode. This, this has to be the same, gql.hashnode.com. And this is my demo blog URL. You can enter your blog URL here. It can be your hashnode.dev based subdomain or even your custom domain. And the mode has to be production. So with this setting, we're going to deploy this. Right, so I think we have some progress here. Okay, it's done. Let's deploy it. So we'll continue the dashboard and we have the URL with us right now. If you click here and if you say that visit, you'll see the UI. This is the headless blog UI. Since we don't have any post now, it won't show any post here. So what we can do is we can we can now map a custom domain to this block. Let's let's assume that our custom domain is called um, let's say demo.sandeep.dev. So we can go to the settings and we can say that I need demo. Right, let's hit it's add now. Okay, so now we need to do the DNS config. So we'll copy this, we'll go to Cloudflare where my domain is hosted, and we'll, we'll add a CNAME record against demo. I'll save it. And we are gonna go back to Purcell and we'll refresh this. Now, as you can see, the domain is getting signed an SSL certificate. So this will probably take a few seconds. Meanwhile, we can copy this URL and we can go to Hashnode's blog dashboard. And this is my demo blogs dashboard. I'm gonna go to the advanced tab and there I'll see a setting called use Hashnode as a headless CMS. So what this does is if you enable this, it will ask you to enter the blog base URL. So for me, the URL is this demo.hashnode.dev, but it can also be something like sandeep.dev slash demo or slash blog, which means you can install Hashnode on your subpath as well. So for the sake of simplicity, let's say that my base URL is demo.hashnode.dev. If I save this, Hashnode will not generate UI anymore. Rather, it will send all the readers to this source URL because now this blog is operating in a headless mode. So I'll save this 
and I'll wait for this to succeed. Okay, now it's saved, and you can see you can see headless level here. Now let's go back to Vercel and check if the SSL is issued. It looks like it it has been issued, and if we click here, you can see my blog and a subdomain uh, in headless mode. So now let's go to hash node because it doesn't have any post. We'll go to hash node and we'll click on write so that we can start creating some posts. So let's create a dummy post and we'll write some test content and we'll head over to publish and we'll see that this the blog is already pre-selected as demo .dev. Select some tag here. Let's call let's let's publish something under JavaScript and hit publish. And, and you can now see the post over here on your headless blog. And if I refresh, I can see the new post over here. So this means you can now use Hashnode as a headless CMS. You can use our world-class editor and dashboard to manage and collaborate and yet have unlimited number of flexibility in terms of customization. And you'll also be able to host your blog under a sub path to, to make it more aligned with your brand look and feel. We think the possibilities are endless and this opens up so many opportunities. We'd love to get your feedback and iterate and improve. So please let us know what you think. Thank you so much.